Silvio Apogni has carved a place in history. From his Adelaide Hills studio, his sculptures have made their way across the world and earned him the Medal of the Order of Australia. I don't do it for the recognition, but wow! <laughs> well, it's a wonderful acknowledgement that you're doing something worthwhile. For Mr Apogni, passing on years of knowledge to the next generation is key. You know, to think that you can just give them a little boost in the right direction to help them along. That's what's good for me. You know? Barkindji woman Nikki Cumston also received an OAM for her service to Indigenous art. But the art gallery curator says there's still work to be done. I would love to see more of the general public becoming aware of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander art and culture. Jennifer Abbey has spent her life helping others. The Professor of Nursing authored the Abbey Pain Scale, a tool used widely to assess pain for people with dementia in aged care facilities. You need a lot of confidence and a lot of courage and a lot of knowledge to be able to provide palliative care in those circumstances. Bill Hardy is a living legacy. His great-grandfather, Thomas, founded Hardy's Wine in McLaren Vale, and Bill became the face of the brand for more than two decades. Taking those wines around the world, showing them to people, trying to write a few orders and that, that sort of thing, promoting, promoting our wine, but of course promoting Australia too. Now he can add an OAM to his collection. If Bill Hardy brings the wine to the honours list, Chris Lloyd brings the cheese. The artisan cheesemaker recognised after a horror summer where devastating bushfires forced her woodside business to dump thousands of kilograms of stock. The loss providing inspiration for a new cheese. We've called it spilt milk because we actually thought there wasn't any point in crying over spilt milk. After two decades in the dairy industry, Chris Lloyd is celebrating her membership of the Order of Australia, not with cake, but with cheese. Dana Morse, ABC News, Adelaide.